Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. We turn our attention to football. Round 2 action in the Ascension Football Tournament in Trinidad and Tobago gets on the way at 6 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. Today with Cunopio playing Deportivo. The action is live on Sportsmax 2. These are the other games on the weekend schedule. Cunopia will be up against Deportivo. As we told you, La Hoqueta Rangers play Central. Maruga will be seeing Defence Force. AC Porto Spain will be up against Westport. And the Policemen, they'll be playing Central Soccer World. This is how the table looks heading into match week 10. La Hoqueta Rangers at the top of the table on 23 points. Notice Defence Force, they have the same number of points in second position. Police FC in third on 21 points and Deportivo to round off the top four on 17 points. At the bottom of the table, we have Central FC on five and look, Maruga FC still yet to get a win. So, George and Lance, um, you know, we've been discussing this Ascension tournament, which has been getting a lot of our vi viewers excited about the competition. We've seen some good football. What's happening, though, to Maruka? Yeah, I was asking Brendan Sancho that question when he was here the other day, and he was likening it to a situation where the club is bereft of senior players mm -hmm. and uh, the youngsters who've been brought in really callow. And uh, it's just, look, teams have teams in development in their development phase are going to have seasons like this. And the callow youth in the callow youth in the Moruga team are just getting a baptism by fire. And uh, I was looking at their goal, the, the goals against. The goals against figure is 39 in nine games. That's abysmal because in the Jamaica Premier League, Mullines United have conceded 40 goals. But that's for about 20 games. So yeah. that's an average of two per game. Moruga is, 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 is letting in goals more than four goals per game because four nines is 36. So more than four goals per game as we're looking at the table. It's horrible what he says. It's because of the youth in the squad and the fact that there's, no, there's not much leadership and leadership experience to steer the ship. And that's why they're struggling so badly. But my Rangers... Uh, defense force have been on our court, our, our court tails from the word go. Police in their slipstream. Those are the, the three form teams. Deportivo, Cunupia, not so bad. But I'm still rolling with the Rangers. We've scored 37 goals this season. Uh, a bit loose on the defensive end because we we're letting in more than a goal per game. Look at defense force's goals against figure. Five. That's outstanding. By far the best defense. Uh, Deportivo, also very good. But I'm still rolling with the Rangers, uh, although the defense force are, are, are still shadowing me all the way. And Lance mm -hmm. noticed La Hoquita Rangers and defense force, they're yet to lose a match. Yeah, and they have an identical goal difference as well. It's just that uh, Rangers have scored more goals than they have. So based on the number of goals, they are, they are leaders. But they both have a goal difference of tw 25. So very, very tough, tough between them. Uh, the defense force up against Maruga this, this weekend, who is everyone's beating stick. So if Rangers aren't able to beat Central, Central aren't doing well either. They're bottom of the table. But based on goal difference... It is reasonable to expect that Defence Force will win by a bigger margin than Rangers will. So Defence Force may be leaders at the end of this weekend. Well, Should be at least 4-0 yeah. based on the trend. Yeah, but I, I want the youths from Maruga not to be disheartened and I want them to still come out and play hoping to win because you never know which one of these teams you can defeat. Well, we move across now from Trinidad and Tobago. We head to Jamaica. In Jamaica, six games will be played in the penultimate match week. These are the matchups. Humber Lion will be up against Don Beholden. Malines they play Portmore. Mount Pleasant up against Cavalier. Tivoli they see Arnett Gardens. Waterhouse will be playing Vare United and Harborview versus Montego Bay. This is how the table looks. Waterhouse at the top of the table. One point separate them from Don Beholden in second position. In third spot, Mount Pleasant, a total of 38 points. And Arnett Gardens they round up the top four with 36 points. Now we head down to the bottom of the table, George and Lance. Malines on 11 with 15 points. Montego Bay United, they've gotten wins, although they're at the bottom of the table. They have a total of 11 points. So my question, Lance and George, with only two match weeks to go, the race for the final playoff spot is hot. It's effectively a three-horse race between Tivoli, Harborview, and Humberline. What say you? Take Humberline out, I think. Although... 
they're going to be playing a done beholden team that is in disarray because the players haven't been paid because uh, their manager was robbed at gunpoint, relieved of a large sum of cash. The entire payroll, we understand, was uh, taken by robbers. So let's see how that affects the, uh, the mindset, mindset of the done beholden players going into that Humberland clash. But I think you can rule out Humberland. There was a draw two games ago that really hurt them. I think it was against... Mobe United, they yes. drew 1-1. One, one. Yes. And Andrew Price was lamenting that that was the missed chance. If they had gotten three points there, they'd have been right in the mix. But I think you can forget them. Which leaves us to Tivoli and Harbour. You know, three rounds ago, Lance and myself were agreed that Tivoli would have pinched that last spot. Uh, I still think Tivoli will pinch the last spot, but I think the pinch is getting even tighter <laughs> because mm -hmm. with Harbour View. But I fancy them. They are... Well, how about you have a game in hand, no? Yes, they oh do. Oh, my goodness. So that's, it. that's the issue. Oh, my them. goodness. I may have to revise but that. But you don't like games in hand. It doesn't no, no, matter no. to you. There you go. So, so I, 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 to you, are a point in front, but a game short. Oh. It looks tight. Yeah, I st I'm, I'm still fancying Tivoli. I'm still yeah. fancying Tivoli. I'm not going to switch. Lance, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still taking Tivoli, but it, it is going to be very, very close because... Harbour View are facing, I think, Montego Bay United. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Who've been in form in their past yeah. three games. Yeah, they've been playing well. Yes. They, they actually had 2-2 two, two draws against Arnett and 2-2 two, two against Cavalier yes. as well, who are two of the top teams in the league at the moment. So that, those results suggest that Montego Bay United are, are on the improve. Significant issue in this Tivoli Harbour View matchup is George and Mariah Trayvon Reed who previously played for Tivoli right. is, is now at Harbour View mm -hmm. and uh, he's been having his best season so far this is like his fifth season in Premier yeah. League football mm -hmm. he has never had a better goal scoring season than he's having now at Harbour View and uh, Tivoli his former club is standing in his way of making the playoffs yeah I, wow. I was thinking you were talking about the head to head where he can't play if they, if they play head to head but yeah the point you make is valid mm -hmm. the, if, if you look at the table again though I think the unfortunate team this season has been Mullines United. Look at how many goals Mullines have scored. They've scored 23. Only the teams in the top six have scored more. Every team in the top six has scored more than Mullines is 23. But because the, goal, the goals against is so wretched, yeah. they are even worse than the team in last place, the team that they have four more points yes. than Montego Bay United. Yes. And we've been watching Mullines all season. They've tried various combinations in the back in terms of the centre-half partnership and across the back four, the two, uh, two full-backs at left and right. And every combination has proven leaky. They have a good goalkeeper, Mullines. That's a good thing because Peter Harrison, I think, is yes. Peter Harrison was man of the match a couple of times when yes, they won was. the games. Yeah. So I, it's difficult on them, but it is the in defence that they've let themselves down this season. But yeah, uh, Harbour View. And of course, they lost one of their most potent strikers, Trevante Stewart, Stewart, Stewart to was Mount gone Pleasant. over to Mount Pleasant. Yes, so, yes, um, yes. It's been a tough season for Mullines, and yes. luckily there is no relegation this season, yes. so they are safe right. for next season. But I agree with you, George. This is a team that. Uh, has a lot more quality than their position in the in the table suggests. And we just saw Harbour View. The problem that Harbour View has had, uh, Ludlow McLean, uh, almost said Ludlow McLean. And the reason I say Ludlow McLean all the time, I have a friend who's Ludlow McLean who works for a prominent taxi company in Jamaica. Shout out El Shaddai. Anyway, Ludlow Bernard, the first, I think the first seven or eight rounds, yeah. the man did not on any occasion manage to play the same team in consecutive games because he always lost players for various reasons. Players going away on trial, players being injured and everything. So he didn't have the, the, the chemistry there. And if you look at the table, once again, Mr. Producer, may it please you to give it to us again. Harborview's problem has been scoring goals. You can't qualify for the playoffs with 20 goals in 19 games. It yeah. doesn't, because that's beer. That's 1.00000 goals per game. It, it's, it, it's not good enough. Tivoli have scored 27 in 20. So if you're scoring at above a goal a game solidly, yes, then you can, you, you can get into those playoffs with that. But Harborview's problem, because of the flux in the team over the, per, over the early part, and even when they've found form, they've not been prolific enough because of how profligate, they stay with the P's, or profligate their forward players have been. And that's hurting their chances. And that's why, because a man might say, well, George, they have a game in hand on Tivoli. Tivoli's only a point ahead. Why do you think Tivoli will pinch the sixth spot? It's because Tivoli are more likely to score the goals needed than Harborview are. Yeah. Yeah. And the other fact Definitely. is, too, the Harborview form has to be troubling. They've won just one of their last six matches, and they were beaten by Veer in their last match. And Veer is a, a bottom position team at the moment um, so that would be very worrying for Harborview Tivoli have won I think three of their last six Harborview just one win in their last six so uh, based on form 
Harbourview are in a spot. But because they have a game in hand, they'll be encouraged that if they get the right results, they can squeeze Tivoli out. Yeah, well, what's for sure is the remaining matches will be very important to a couple of teams. So you keep it locked to Sportsmax for all the JPL action. We take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment. <laughs> 